What if we are actually related to the neighbor? I, I don't know. I don't know. There, there has to be history because we have a picture of the house in our house. What's going on with that? Hello, everybody. I'm Kindly Kian, and today we are checking out a new trailer from Tiny Build showing off the Hello Neighbor beta. Now, this is essentially the introduction to the beta that will be available on PC and also Xbox One. And there are some very interesting little tidbits that I was able to pull out of this trailer just by looking through it a couple times, and I hope we, that we can find some more. Now, first things First, as you can see, this is the front door of kind of the apartment building that our character lives in at the outset of the story of Hello Neighbor. Now, we still do not know anything about the story of Hello Neighbor. All we know is that we're a dude and there's a crazy neighbor who's trying to keep us out of his house or possibly our own house. But as you can see on the right hand side of the screen there, there is an image. There is a picture there and that picture seems to be the house house that we are trying to gain access to, the house that the neighbor has kind of taken over and turned into a jungle gym of obstacles that we have to undertake and surmount, of course. So why would we as the character have a picture of the house that we're trying to get into? Well, that seems to indicate that we used to live in this house. Why did we live in this house? Did we own this house? Is this where we grew up? We don't know exactly for sure, but it seems to indicate that we have some kind of connection to the house that the neighbor is currently living in. Now let's continue with the trailer here and let's look for any other weird stuff going on. Okay, so we have a creaking door kind of opening up here and then it just gets slammed out of nowhere wait a second that door slams and it obviously uh, affects that uh, that little horseshoe over there if we if we back up just a little bit here you can see as this door slams down this horseshoe shakes off of the wall which is interesting because it looks like this is the door to the apartment that we're currently living in but if i go back to that other door that we were looking at this looks like a door and a wall from the neighbor's house the house that we are trying to get access to so why would the slamming of this door affect an apartment that we're living in in the city i don't know there's some weird stuff going on here. Let's continue the trailer. Obviously, that slamming door also wakes the character up. So our character is a little shocked. He gets woken up from the slamming door and then receives a letter in the mail. Now, we don't know what this letter says, and I'm, I'm wondering if even if we could see the text that's on it, if it would actually be in English. Now, here is an even better shot of that picture, and <laughs> it's getting, the, the intrigue is getting even deeper here because you can see kind of two shadowy-looking figures. There's one smaller one, and there's one larger one near the front door, and I can't help but notice the silhouette of that shadowy figure on that front porch seems to be the same shape as the neighbor. It's got a pretty wide belly and a big head. That's the neighbor's like most distinct characteristic, his, his huge head. He just has a massive noggin, a lot of brain power in there. But that is very strange. The figure in front of him is obviously much smaller. Perhaps it is us. I don't know if this is actually true, but what if we are actually related to the neighbor? I, I don't know. I don't know. There, there has to be history because we have a picture of the house in our house. What's going on with that? All right, let's let's just continue on. There's there's more to see. Definitely more to see. There's our character. Now he has received some kind of letter. It seems to be an eviction notice. Now I'm only saying that because it's got a big red stamp and and big red stamps just seem to be bad bad things. So it's almost as if the character, our own character, got evicted from his apartment and now he has to return home. He has to return to this childhood home or maybe he has to do something with this childhood home. Maybe he inherited this home and now the neighbor has kind of taken over it. I mean, there's just so many questions that we have, and I'm hoping that we can find more answers soon. But at the very least, I want to dig into this trailer as much as possible because they've given us quite a bit of information here. Unfortunately, the resolution on this letter is just too low, and we cannot see the text. But I imagine that even if we could see the text, uh, it does not look like English. If you can somehow figure out 
how to translate this, let me know. But uh, yeah, what we're looking at just looks like a jumble of letters and letters that I am not familiar with at all. Okay, so we've got some kind of somber music going here. So he seems a little bummed out. Whatever that notice said, uh, he doesn't feel happy about it. Now, oh, 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 what was that? Let's go back. Wait, wait a second. Get back here. Get, get, don't you dare. Okay, okay. Find the suitcase, find the key, put the key in the suitcase, find the house, open the door, bring things into the house. So this is the opening tutorial, it seems, for the beta. Now, the interesting thing about this is that it seems like we're still actually in our apartment when this tutorial begins. So that is something really interesting because now we can actually play in the apartment. Okay, so he is leaving the apartment. It seems the time has finally come, but he's got some serious hesitation here. He just doesn't want to go. He looked over at the phone and the painting. I wonder if he's reminiscing about the idea of having to go back to this this home. Maybe he has some bad memories. I, I just, I don't know, but I hope that we can figure out more. He's definitely hesitating. He's looking around. What are those? Is it... I don't, I don't know what that actually is on the, on the, the, the sofa there. Are those like figurines? I don't actually know. And then if you look at the lower left hand side of the screen here, there's a, what seems to be one half of a blue key. I, I don't know if that's a key, but that seems to have a similar shape to the keys that we've seen in Hello Neighbor up to this point. I wonder if it's part of it is clipping through the bottom, like the carpet, so you can't see the whole key but it seems to be a blue key in his living room. Maybe you should pick that up. You can't just leave keys laying around. That's a terrible idea. Okay, so yeah, that those figures or whatever those things are on the armrest of the sofa there, that's that's strange. I, I can't quite make out what it is. Maybe you guys have a better idea of what exactly it is. So we've got our suitcase. It's time to make our way. Okay, and you actually get a loading screen there. And now we get the introduction to the neighborhood. Obviously, the text on the sign is still in a language that uh, I don't personally speak. I believe it was Russian. I don't know if that was confirmed, but it seemed to be like gibberish Russian. So uh, we're still kind of confused about that stuff. Okay, now let's go back a little bit here because this is a very, very revealing point in this trailer. Yes, as the character, we pull up to the house that the neighbor is in. This is the house that we are moving to. We moved away from our apartment and we have the intention of moving into this huge house in this neighborhood. You can see I've got the key. I opened the door. I was able to get through the padlock, but someone is watching me through something, which is very creepy. Oh my goodness. I just destroyed that chair. Just kill it. Ah, karate kick that thing out of here. Okay, so he is looking at this door very suspiciously. There must be some strange noises or something that has motivated our character to walk over to this door and try to figure out what is happening inside of this house. What connection does he have to this house? What is going on? Uh, there seems to be someone on the other side of that door, though, so you might want to be a little bit careful about doors that you open up in that house. What is going on? Okay, and now we are woken by the screams of what seems to be a child. That, that's creepy. Now, we kind of had a similar cutscene in Alpha 2. If you recall, we pulled up to the house that the neighbor eventually took over and the house that we were trying to get access to, trying to explore. That's the house that we pulled up to and moved into. But eventually the neighbor caught on to whatever we were doing, knocked us out and kicked us out of that house. So we're getting kind of a similar start in the beta version of the game, but obviously with a much larger house. This is the Alpha 4 house uh, that we've been playing in up to recently. So it seems like we've been asked to return to this house, whether it's a family home that we inherited or it's somebody else's house, we're trying to help them out with something. We don't know exactly the details of why we're returning to this house, but we are going to this house with the intention of moving into it. And then the neighbor seems to have been living in it or squatting in it or just hanging out in this house and he doesn't want us here. So he knocks us out kicks us out and now it is nighttime and we awaken to the sound of screaming children and now you can see a very creepy image of the neighbor off in the distance and watch this did you see that 
this man can teleport. It seems that the neighbor now has the ability to teleport. That was just absolutely terrifying. The way that he moved, that was way too fast. Here, let's let's go back. Look at this. Watch this. I'll do a frame by frame for you guys. Here we go. Watch this. Next frame, next frame, next frame. He he's going to disappear in an instant. Look at look at him. Oh, he's ready. He's he's winding up for the great escape and then he can he can actually moonwalk. That was like a moonwalk teleport. That was insane. This guy is crazy. I I don't know what's going on here, but there's creepy stuff going on for sure. And we have spotted whatever he's up to is some strange stuff. Now he's locking up the basement, but we're still hearing those crazy screams. I don't like this. This is too this is too creepy. Okay, so we're getting the chair out of the way here and that is pretty much it. You can pre-order it on Xbox One and at HelloNeighborGame.com. That's all they've shown us up to this point, but I can't wait to try out the beta. It's gonna be very, very cool. A lot of questions are being raised, but a lot of answers also. I think that we're gonna find a lot more in-depth uh, telling of the story, or at least the events leading up to the story of Hello Neighbor in the beta, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. I'm just scrubbing back in the uh, the video here a little bit more, just to see if there's anything else that we can spot while we're looking through it. it. The house, for the most part, seems to look pretty much the same as it did in Alpha 4. There's probably gonna be some tweaks. Tiny Build has mentioned that the game is content complete. Now they're just working on uh, refining it, polishing it up, and they're also working on porting it over to Xbox One and making sure that it runs well on that platform as well. I wanted to go back to whatever this is. I still have no idea what it is on the armrest. If you guys have any ideas, let me know, because it's, it's that this whole thing is kind of weirding me out. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I just wanted to touch on this trailer. I wanted to dig into it, see if we could find any other little secrets. I think that they've revealed quite a bit of information just in this little trailer. I love the idea that there's some kind of connection to the house and our character. And there could even be a connection between the actual neighbor and ourselves. Are we related? I don't know, but I cannot wait to find out more. Hopefully we can get our hands on this beta sooner rather than later, but at the very least, we know that the game is coming out on August 29th, so we're very much looking forward to that. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, and of course, if you'd like to see more of my videos, you can subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is click on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window, but that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.